Hey, Chris from the Mighty Decibel here. Welcome back. We've hit the halfway mark of the year, so that means it's time for us to name our albums of the year to date across the four categories that we cover here at the Mighty Decibel, those being Extreme Metal, Doom, Hardcore Punk, and Hard and Heavy. And uh, without further ado, let's get into it. And over to our Hard and Heavy category that includes Trad Metal, Speed Metal, Hard Rock, um, rock and roll, anything that doesn't fit in, in the other categories. And we're going to split this into two uh, sub stacks here. First being traditional heavy metal, where we have two records to talk about. Uh, the first being uh, Wild Rites and Ancient Songs, the sophomore full length from Philly Outfit, Blaze and Wright. Uh, so this record shines in the songwriting department, each track differentiated and memorable, begging the listener to let loose and take part in the imaginary uh, tales of battle. And Johnny Halliday's chest-beating vocals add that extra zest that will have you reaching for your sword and shield while you're headbanging, of course. Excellent true metal that needs to be heard. Another fave traditional metal album of the year to date is First Sighting, the debut full length from Salt Lake City's Blood Star. So this one is a little bit more melodic than Blaze and Wright's record, but similarly sports uh, great songwriting and performances. Again, each track is a keeper and the energetic uh, rhythm section ensures that it's heavy enough even to satisfy the hardcore trad metalheads like me. And I should mention the great performance at the mic uh, provided by Madeline Smith, who steers clear of histrionics that usually uh, creep into these types of albums. Instead, staying in the pocket, her enthusiasm and talent, obvious, excellent stuff. The last subcategory we have under hard and heavy for this episode is hard rock. And the obvious highlight of the year to date is Chaos and Color. Uh, incredibly, the 25th album from legendary British act Uriah Heep. Uh, so this splits equally between straight up hard rockers and elongated prog tracks. Uh, each ditty is blessed with choruses that'll stick in your brain for days and the Hammond organ sounds heaven sent and uh, as are the vocal harmonies just amazing uh, seriously this is proggy hard rock that, uh, that doesn't get any better than this in my opinion this is the best album of the year to date
there you have it the mighty decibels fave albums of the year to date of 2023 Hopefully we'll uh, get some more excellent stuff coming down the pike and we'll see where all these albums stand uh, come January or late December of 2023. Are there any albums that you believe should have been on the list? If so, put them down below so everybody can check them out. So thanks for uh, joining us and remember to check in every Monday for our new release Mondays. Tuesdays we have our curated playlists in 40 minutes. Uh, Wednesdays and Thursdays we have our live reviews and the odd Thursday we throw in our best of top tens that sort of thing you know where to go www.themightydecibel.com have a great one eh bye